Hi everyone. Let us discuss this example. Okay. So in this example, uh, we will have two functions and we have to prove that they have already given z is equal to zero is a singularity. It's a singular point. Simply we have to find its type. Which type of singularity is this one? Okay. This thing we have to do. Let us recall the types of singularities first. Okay. We have already seen in our previous video, but let us recall all these things and then we will go further. So mainly with the help of Lorentz series expansion, we find, okay, by observing the Lorentz series expansion, we find the type of singularity. The standard form of Lorentz series is, let me write here, f of z is equal to summation a n z minus z naught raised to n plus summation b n upon z minus z naught raised to n. Okay, so this is standard form of Lorentz series. Actually, the Lorentz series has two parts. This is uh, analytic part and this is principal part. By observing principal part of Lorentz series, we find the type of singularity. Okay. In some cases, what happens, the uh, analytic part will be as it is, but in principal part, we have finite number of terms like this. Bn, the last term is Bn. After that, all terms are zero. Okay. So we have just finite number of terms in a principal part. In that case, we say it is pole of order, pole of order n. Okay, so if we have a finite number of terms in a principal part, then it is a pole of order n. If you have infinitely many terms, how many terms are there? Infinitely many. Let me write properly and so on. Bn upon z minus z naught raised to n. And again, we have infinitely many terms after Bn also. Getting? So we call it as isolated essential singularity. Sometimes people call it as simply essential singularity, but we say it is isolated essential singularity, right? And if the principal part is zero, that means the function has only analytic part. We get a Taylor series, not a Lorentz series, get it? Uh, see, when you have the principal part zero, the corresponding Lorentz series, we also call it as a Taylor series. So if the principal part is zero, we say it is removable singularity, removable singularity. And see one more singularity we have seen, but we have very few examples of that. That is non-isolated essential singularity. That means we have infinitely many singular points and they are moving, they are converging to a single point and we say it is non-isolated essential singularity. Okay. So, but our main focus is on this three types of singularity. So, uh, for this function also, we have to find which type of singularity is this one. Okay. So we will do. It's very easy task actually. And in previous video also, we have solved this type of problem. So it will be very easy for us. Let me write the function. Okay. F of z sine 1 by z. So obviously the first step is to find a point where the function is not analytic. You can easily see z is equal to 0. If I put 0 here, denominator will be 0. So z is equal to 0 is a singular point but nothing is new in that since they have already mentioned there z is equal to zero they have already declared z is equal to zero is a singular point simply we have to find its type so i will focus on its lorentz expansion okay i will find its lorentz expansion sine z so we have very standard uh, function and we are familiar with its series that is sine z is z minus z cube by three factorial z raised to 5 by 5 factorial and so on, right? So what is the difference at a place of z? We have 1 by z. That means that z and its higher power will appear in denominator. So what will I get using that expansion? 1 by z minus 1 by 3 factorial z cube. I am writing in denominator since that z is in denominator plus 1 by 5 factorial z raised to 5, okay? So all these types are uh, in front of you. So just observe which type of singularity is this one. Okay, let us find the law, uh, principal part and analytic part. So Z appears in denominator. That means this is the principal part. Agree? It's a principal part and analytic part is not there. How many terms are there in a principal part? Infinitely many. So if you have infinitely many uh, terms in principal part, we call it as isolated essential singularity. Let me mention here infinitely many 
b ends are non zero getting infinitely many b ends are non zero it is not terminating anywhere so we say therefore z is equal to zero is isolated essential singularity okay so in this way we found out the type of singularity uh that of this z is equal to zero of f of z okay so this example is over just make a screenshot of it then we will go for the second example so let us discuss this second example okay uh let me write we are starting solution from here so let me write a function again f of z tell me first for what value of z denominator will be zero obviously if i put z is equal to zero denominator will be zero so zero is a singular point they have also mentioned nothing is new in that we have to find the type of singularity okay so for that i will find its lorentz expansion let me write in this way 1 by z square cos z minus 1 okay so what is the standard function here cos z and we we are familiar with its lorentz expansion so let us write its series the series of cos z i am writing here 1 minus z square by 2 factorial plus z is to 4 by 4 factorial minus z is to 6 by 6 factorial and so on minus 1 so if you solve the bracket you will get the same but the fact is 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled to each other so the remaining terms i am writing here it is minus z square by 2 factorial plus z is to 4 by 4 factorial minus z is to 6 by 6 factorial and so on so let us solve this bracket also that means i will take the product of each term of this bracket and this 1 by z square so if you take the product okay so there was some electricity problem let us continue so what will i do i will take product of each term of this bracket by this 1 by z square so minus z square by 2 factorial z square see it is in denominator no so there will be the multiplication with denominators obviously plus z raised to 4 by 4 factorial z square minus z raised to 6 by 6 factorial z square and so on z square z square cancel minus 1 by 2 factorial z square cancel z square by 4 factorial right z raised to 4 by 6 factorial and so on so tell me what is principal part and analytic part principal part that means that z appears in denominator but see there is no any term with z or power of z is in denominator all terms in all terms z appears at numerator so this is a analytic part okay so let me mention so here all bns are zero all bns are zero getting bn that means that coefficient of 1 by z in uh, that principal part right so bn is equal to 0 for therefore therefore z is equal to 0 is a removable singularity okay so we have already seen if the principal part is zero getting there is no any term in the principal part then we say that z is equal to zero or z is equal to z not is a removable singularity so in this way we found out the type of singularity so the example is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video